Alright, this one's for all of you guys out there who want to have an enlightening experience when using your computer. And the, a, a nice thing about this is it has minimal system requirements. It doesn't require a fancy 3D acceleration card. We are looking at Bodhi Linux right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, let's begin. First, what I decided to do is I'm going to take you from the boot live CD process so that you can see everything uh, that I'm doing in today's demonstration. And we are actually looking at this together. I have not had a chance to look at the new Bodhi Linux, so please be aware of that. Just in case I get one of you guys out there saying, No, you forgot to look at this. You forgot to look at that. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, here we go. First, uh, we're going to press Live Install here. And it will start loading up the system. All right, now, the first screen that you're going to see, it's going to give you some choices here as to what you may want to set this up for. You can set it up as a bare system. If you have a nice graphics card, uh, you can set this up for compositing. A nice little desktop experience that has a panel on the bottom. They have a fancy design. a laptop or netbook configuration, a tablet configuration, and then of course if you want to use it as a tiling window manager, they have a setup for that as well. Now obviously I am not going to review each and every one of these, so I'm going to go with the laptop netbook configuration. Then I'm going to press Next. Okay, and now it's going to give us some choices for themes for this. Interestingly enough, this uh, download was not very large in file size. It was just under 500 megs. So let's go ahead and pick one of these out. Notorious Dark. And then to, I think I'll go with the dark theme. Why not? I've always been into the darker themes. Okay, and as you will see here, Bodhi has some wonderful compositing and eye candy and special effects. And guess what? You do not have to have a fast processor for this. This um, doesn't have a, a very heavy system requirements. You can see that you have a nice little panel here. And this is all software rendering, all these effects that you're seeing here, which I think is absolutely amazing. Okay, so it looks like we've got LX Terminal, which is lightweight, an install icon, the file manager, and then the Midori web browser. Let's see what file manager this comes with. PC Man FM. How do you like that? All right, let's go ahead and close that. And the thing is, PC Man, F Man FM is a very nice, lightweight file manager. Now, one way you can navigate the system is simply by left-clicking on the desktop. Look at this. And you have a menu that comes up. From here, you can look at your applications. You can go different places. Run everything. Hmm, I wonder if that will run. <laughs> you can take a screenshot, some desktop options, Windows, under Bodhi Linux, 
about quick start ad software artwork. This uses Enlightenment 17, so from here you can go in and look at your themes and then of course additional settings. First, let's take a quick at ad software. Now this is, if I'm not mistaken, is based on Ubuntu. And as you can see here, looks like we have software bundles and packages that you can download right here from your web browser. How cool is that? I think that's kind of neat. Okay, and then we'll look further to see if there is a Synaptic Package Manager or Software Center. Okay, now you'll notice up here you have a nice large clock that's easy to read, and I love the calendar that this comes with. It looks absolutely beautiful. A battery indicator for those of you like me who are running a laptop. This is a uh, time between updates here. And then of course a volume control. This is your desktop selector here. And then this is your network here. Okay, now by right clicking you can actually move and resize gadgets in Enlightenment 17. There are contents and additional settings. Let's go ahead and click on settings and basically it gives you some options. You can decide how you want stacking to appear. You can choose where to position this panel. So if we wanted to have it on the left we could press apply and look how it does that. All of those changes take effect immediately. I'm just going to put it back in its default position for right now. If it will let me. That's weird that it didn't go back. <laughs> All right. And then it looks like we have an empty spot here. Okay, moving right along, let's see what else you get with this wonderful operating system. In applications and accessories, you get elementary test, file manager, leaf pad, and LX terminal. In preferences, you get elementary configuration. You can change your language settings. LXDM auto login, an NTFS configuration tool preferred applications, software sources, and then, of course, the wonderful Synaptic Package Manager. Just elementary test is listed in programming, and then, of course, the lightweight Midori web browser, and then, of course, a private browsing session as well for all of you doing questionable activity on the Internet. Okay. All right, let's see what else we have in desktop under virtual. Okay, we have a desktop switcher here in case you decided to remove the desktop switcher from the panel. You have shelves, and that's what these are called up here. These are actually called shelves in Bodhi Linux. Okay, and then windows, you can clean up windows, and then lost windows. Mm. I've never lost my windows before. Well, I lost Microsoft Windows. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we've already took that uh, ad software. Let's have a look at artwork here. Okay, and this is where you can get enlightenment themes, icons, uh, login screens, and all kinds of other good stuff. So, And that's one of the nice things about Enlightenment 17 is the fact that it is highly customizable and it is very, very easy to do. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm not sure if uh, my buddy uh, across the way um, is still using this, if uh, Caddy's still using Enlightenment 17. I know he was using that in Arch and that sort of thing. And I was actually considering using it but I've got my comp his running, so I'm a happy guy. All right, so really, this does not come 
with all of the software packages that you would come to expect with a standard Linux distribution. And weighing in at 437 megs for a download, that is to be expected. But the thing is, this is a nice lightweight system that um, you can easily build things on top of and customize to your liking. And the and the other nice thing is you may have seen a number of my reviews where I'd click on something and we're waiting until I die of old age for stuff to load up. Everything is loading up quickly in a virtual environment and the effects are very, very nice considering that I'm not doing any compositing. I mean, look at the shadows and everything. You know, th this is really cool how they uh, put this together. It was well thought out. And would I recommend this to beginners? Absolutely. Because it's based on Ubuntu, you could actually go on Ubuntu's forums and find answers to questions that you may have. And then, of course, you have uh, the Synaptic Package Manager and the software sources that I indicated earlier. For uh, Let me go ahead and pull, those, pull that up here again. Uh, where was that? that under preferences? Yes. So you have the software sources where you can easily add your PPAs and that sort of thing right here. And then of course you have the Synaptic Package Manager for grabbing any applications or whatnot. So all in all, very nice. I recommend though if you're going to use this and you're going to download a lot of software through the Synaptic Package Manager, make sure you have a good internet connection for that because this doesn't come preloaded with a lot of the software. All in all, I'm very pleased with how Bodhi Linux is looking. Um, I'm also very pleased with the way uh, that uh, Bodhi Linux and E17, the E17 desktop in general is looking. I really like how this appears. It's very, very nice. And it's a wonderful alternative for those of you who do not like GNOME 3 or the um, or the Unity interface. Although I will admit, Unity is starting to improve quite well, and that is going to be the shape of Ubuntu. So I'm just uh, delighted to see what they're going to be coming up with next. Well, that's all I've got for now on this one. If you thought this was useful, please comment like and subscribe google plus facebook and twitter will keep you up to date every time i send a new video to my channel i'd like to thank you all for watching and we will see you next time